Welcome to Photoshop Icebreakers. My name is Malcolm Nicholas, and today I'm going to teach you how to use some basic tools in Photoshop. So let's say you no longer want these mascara brushes in this particular image. To do so, we're going to use the lasso tool or click L and make the selection around the brushes we no longer want. At the top, we'll go to Edit, Contour Wear Tool. Another window will pop up, and on the left side of this window, you'll see what the program is going to sample, highlight it in green. On the right side, it shows the attended result. If you're satisfied with the result, click OK, and it's gone. You also notice on the right here in your layers panel, you'll see it create a separate layer for your fill. That way you can go back to your original image if need be. Now, if that's not working for you in the fill, is it giving you the sample you want? You can also use the patch tool or the spot healing brush. You'll find the patch tool under the eyedropper tool by clicking and holding, and you'll also see the spot healing brush tool. Click the patch tool and draw around the area that you want and click and drag. The purpose of the patch tool is to mainly replace one part of the image with another. Similar to the patch tool, you have the spot healing brush tool, which is more so used for spots and blemishes, but can be used all the same. Now we're going to just click and draw over the area that we want to replace, and it's gone. Now these techniques are not exclusive just for this project. It can be used for landscapes, it can be used for products, whatever medium of photography that you plan on venturing into. Now with our empty image, we want to add in another image from the same shoot or composite the two. What is compositing? taking multiple images and combining them into your personal mask piece and we're going to accomplish this by using layer mask. What's layer masking? Masking is basically a way to hide parts of your image without completely erasing it. Back in Photoshop we have our separate image. We notice that the yellows are a bit different but pretty consistent in all other areas. So let's fix that. Click on the image you just added then add a layer mask at the bottom. You'll see another box appear linked to your image. This is your layer mask. Now, if your layer mask is white, we'll use a brush tool or click B to paint it black in which it hides the parts of the image that you don't want. Make sure you have the layer mask actually selected and not the image. Now, let's switch gears a little bit concerning layer masks. Now, one problem I see a lot of graphic designers and editors face when they start their journey into Photoshop is removing backgrounds and texture overlays. With our image here, we're going to use the quick selection tool or we're going to click W. But even better than that, once we do that, we'll head to the top and hit select subject. And what that does is it detects the main subject in your image. Once that is selected, we're going to use the layer mask again at the bottom. Now your backgrounds are gone and you can add anything you want behind your image. Now let's add a little bit more personality with this image with some textures. Let's add some plastic over it to give it a package feel. So after doing some browsing and some searching in Adobe Creative Cloud, I found a plastic overlay. I'm going to place it in Photoshop over my image. After that, I'm going to add an adjustment layer at the bottom, specifically the curves layer. And then we're going to clip that layer to our image with command option G. What this is doing is allowing only the adjustment layer to be altered rather than the whole project itself. Once we do that, we're going to bring down this part of the curves line, which is strictly responsible for the shadows of the image. Why are we doing this? Well, once we bring down the shadows and the curves layer, we're going to select both layers and then hit command E or control E. And this merges both layers together. Then we change the blend mode to screen, which makes any black in your image disappear. Do you have your overlay? If you want to explore further topics, like the video if you found it helpful. Save the video if you want to see my face again. Share it with your other creative friends. And until next time.